Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Generation 1 Transformers review. And welcome back to Patriot Prime Be Buggin'. My look at the Generation 1 Insecticons. And the last Insecticon we'll be taking a look at in my series is 1985's Shrapnel. I love this toy. Shrapnel has my favorite robot mode of all the Insecticons. Now, Shrapnel first appeared in issue number 17 of the Marvel Comics series, where it is shown that he is the leader of the Enforcers for Decepticon Commander Lord Straxus. Other than that, he doesn't really have anything to do in the comic. He then appears in issue number 21, where him, Bombshell, and Kickback finally arrive to Earth and take their insect modes. Once again, he really doesn't do anything in the comic. Shrapnel showed in other issues where he uses his manipulation of electricity to take control of vehicles, but that's it. He really is nothing more than a background soldier in Marvel Comics. He's most well known for his portrayal in the Generation 1 cartoon. He first appears in the latter part of Season 1, along with Bombshell and Kickback, where it's shown that they escaped Cybertron and landed in a swamp opposed to the rest of the Decepticons and they they took their insect forms there. So it's kind of the same storyline as Bombshell and Kickback. Bombshell is shown multiple times throughout Series 2 where he is once again portrayed as the leader of the Insecticon. And what I like about Bomb Bombshell, what I like about Shrapnel is he's got this really cool creepy voice where he actually repeats the last word of his sentence. Transform this snack into energy, energy. Now, I got to meet the voice actor for Shrapnel at Shardicon in 2013, Mr. Hal Rail. Very nice guy. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to him. Shrapnel also appeared in the 1986 The Transformers The Movie, where I discovered during my research for this review that he was the most abused Transformer in that film. My examples include, number one, he was shot point blank in the chest by Blitzwing. Number two, he's knocked out of a doorway and down a cliff by the Autobot Cup. Number three, Shrapnel is hit by one of Springer's mortars during the Devastator attack. Number four, Shrapnel is ran over by Optimus Prime as he was heading on his way to fight Megatron. Number five, Shrapnel is just tossed out of Astro Train along with the other damaged Decepticons. And against me, the eyes have it. Get! Make room for others! Don't! And number six, to add insult to injury, Shrapnel is reformatted into a sweep by Unicron then re-reformatted back to Shrapnel just so he can get ran over by Daniel in his exosuit. Human germ! Transform! <laughs> so, enough of the history of Shrapnel. Let's take a look at my favorite Insecticon. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, before we start going over the figure, I wanted to show off the box. Shrapnel, just like the rest of my Generation 1 Insecticons, comes from the 20th anniversary set that hailed from Japan in this nice, neat uh, book-style packaging. You can see the Japanese writing there, Generation 1 art. There's some Headmaster stuff. 
which I don't understand why that's in there. A little fold-out poster of the Dreamwave art. These were the ones that did Transformer comics before IDW took over. But I really like this. The Insecticons, of course, were in the plastic tray. There's the Energon cubes they came with. And there's the back. But what I wanted to show off the most was I got voice actor Hal Rail to sign this box since he voices Shrapnel. So there's a look at the box I just thought I'd share with you guys first off. Shrapnel's insect mode is that of a stag beetle. And he kind of looks like one. I mean, these here, of course, are the pinchers. But what's funny in the comics, they're always referred to as his antenna. So go figure. Anyway, Shrapnel's got some great collars with the black, purple, and beautifully chromed pinchers there on top. A little bit of yellow underneath. But to be honest, he really doesn't look that much like a bug. He, you can see he's robot arms, chest. He's just, he is not great as an insect. Now, he features some wheels underneath, and to be honest... He rolls really well, so he makes for a better car than an insect. But I dig it. He's, he looks good. He's G1. He's got the little translucent cockpit right up there on top that hails over from the Diaclone line. But that's pretty much it for his insect mode. Now let's get him transformed to robot mode. Transforming shrapnel is very, very easy. First thing you're going to do is just extend these back portions here, which become the legs, and then twist at the waist, 180, then folding the feet up. On the back, you're going to take these yellow insect legs, fold together like so, then split the pinchers apart, and there you have shrapnel in robot mode. Shrapnel does come with one accessory, this little blaster, now, there are two different versions of this. There is the version like I have that have the kind of plain looking back, and there's one that has a flared backing. So don't think you get a KO. There are two different versions. His weapon clips onto his arm because he doesn't have a hole in his hand, so it just fits over his forearm like so. And there you have shrapnel all ready for battle. Like I said, I love Shrapnel's robot mode. It looks great. I love the collars. I love that head sculpt. He just looks really, really cool. Plus, he's got some fairly nice stickers, too. You can see the blue stickers there along the shoulders. Oh, no. I've actually got one. Yeah, I've got one sticker peeling off. Fortunately, I have Sticker Fixer from Toy Hacks. Sticker Fixer. If your sticker's coming unglued... You're not screwed with Sticker Fixer. In robot mode, Shrapnel does feature some limited articulation. The arms can do a full 360, but they're going to hit the pinchers up here. Legs can go forward and back, but you can't really pose him. You can, yeah, do that. It doesn't work. But that's it for his articulation. Now for some size comparison, here is 1985's Shrapnel with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, his 1985 Deluxe Insecticon counterpart Chop Shop, and his fellow basic Insecticons Bombshell and Kickback. As you can see, this group looks great together. One more comparison that I'm going to do that I've been asked many times in the comments section of my Insecticon videos was to show off my Generation 1 Insecticons with their modern counterparts. Now, my modern Insecticons have been upgraded thanks to Toy Hacks labels and some weapons from non-F Productions. But yeah, I think they look fantastic together. As I said in the beginning of the video, Shrapnel has my favorite robot mode of all the Insecticons, and I absolutely love this guy. I always display him front and center in my Insecticon displays. So there you have it, guys. 1985's Generation 1 Shrapnel. Now, down in my TV room, I have some more Insecticon love here. These are the only full Transformer statues I have. These are from Hard Hero. They were out uh, around 2000 to 2005. 
The Insecticon set, uh, they were limited. Each piece was limited to a thousand. So let's see, we've got Bombshell. He was 900, I can't even read that, what is that? Some kind of foreign language. I'm gonna say he's 953 of a thousand. We've got Kickback, who is 236 of a thousand. And Shrapnel here, poor old abuse Shrapnel, 122. So I really dig these guys. I actually have quite a few of the Hard Hero Transformer busts. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. So, does a Generation 1 Shrapnel belong in your collection? Without a doubt, this is a great toy and a must-have if you have the other Insecticons, Bombshell, and Kickback. He goes great with him. I love the collars, the purple, the black, all that chrome. And not to mention, he's been reissued so many times that you could pick up a copy of this guy fairly cheap. Just make sure he comes with his weapon, either the regular or the flared version. It doesn't matter. You're not going to get a KO, but make sure the chrome looks good. And I want to thank you guys for watching and checking out my videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I try to put out one to two videos a week, just depends on my schedule. Also, check out my series, The Sit Rep, which I try to post every Friday. It's where myself and another Transformer YouTuber sit down and just shoot the bull about our favorite robots in disguise. Guys, once again, I appreciate you watching. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah! Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that I've done on Generation 1 Transformers, Modern Era Transformers, and Toy Hacks Repro Label sets. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. hoo -ah!